see he, he bounces. Yeah, I feel like he's trying to get in there. Go on. I think there's a spider in my house and he's going to kill it. What is up you guys? It's Lala here and I am starting a brand new series that I'm super excited about. Um, we haven't really got a name for it yet at the moment. It's being called Adventures Await um, or Adventure Awaits, uh, something like that. Anyway, um, because we have lots of plans to go on lots of really fantastic adventures. Um, but basically this is a multiplayer server um, that I'm running for me and a few of my friends. Um, there are seven of us, I believe, um, on the whitelist at the moment. And in fact, I can go and show you. This is spawn area here. We've got a lovely little market. I'll take you around all those stores in a second. First of all, we're going to head in here. So this here is like our little hall of heroes. And if you head through the vines, then you can see we have everybody's head from the people who are playing on the server. So here we have my head, Lala plays. And then we have Sneers. And then we have Demo, and we have Hidden Hollow, and we have Angry Apps, and we have Bloodblind, and we have This Is Hotspot. The top three are probably on the most, um, but definitely you'll be seeing all of those guys in videos to come. Um, so this is Spawn, we've got a lovely little park area in the centre with some regeneration water. So if you see I've come out of that now. I've got the regeneration effect. Um, and that's from that special water and that should help us on the scary blood moon nights because we do have the blood moon mod in this mod pack um, So this is Manny. He's the pet shop owner and he sells spawn eggs of all different animals And then we have Tati the Enchantress who sells lots of potion making and brewing items Then we have the general store where you can buy sort of anything helpful that might be a bit difficult to get easily in the game. We've sort of got the red, yellow and blue dyes because you can sort of make any other dyes using those or bone meal. Um, and yeah, so that's super helpful. Then we have Norman the Mailman. Now he is super cool. You can write anything you want in here. Like, let's say I wanted to write a letter to Sniz. I would type in, hi Sniz, and we'll send him a gift as well. So we'll send him this string. Perfect! Because he sent me this water bucket and this office chair in his last in his last letter. Or maybe I should give him something else then. Here, have a carrot too. And then you want to put in the username and Minecraft username. Oh, it's not on this one. And put in something for the subject bar like retest. And then you can see down in the corner it says successfully sent your mail to Sniz. So hopefully when he checks his mailbox, he will have a letter. Now this is the confirmation that I've got from the last time that we were editing this. Um, that he sent me these two gifts in. So I actually want to go and put those gifts in my house. But first let's check out the rest of these stalls. So this is the banker. Here you can trade things in for gold nuggets because gold nuggets is what we use as currency at spawn. Then we have Clyde the Banker, who is really cool. He holds your gold for you. So I've got 23 gold with him at the moment, but if anyone else on the server was to come and talk to him, this would be empty because you get a specific inventory for each player. Um, so that's really cool. I can leave my gold coins here um, for me to spend them when I want to. That's the teleporter, by the way. You click on him and you can teleport to anywhere that we've sort of set uh, waypoints at. Um, Bill the Butcher, he sells obviously raw meat and then uh, leather and hide and feathers and things. Um, Wayne the Farmer sells um, vegetables, fruit, wheat, sugar and then seeds. So we're going to head on over to my house and I'm going to show you where I'm living and then <clears throat> there might be a couple more things to show you along the way. 
Now, as you can see, I've already got some bits and pieces in my hot bar. Um, that's because I, like I say, we've been on here a little while, sort of resource collecting and stir. Um, because a few of us wanted to build like half in survival, half in creative, and some of us wanted to build completely in survival. Um, so everyone kind of waited until the people who wanted to make a start made a start. Um, and then, yeah, oh, I've just missed it. Um, the reason I think that some people wanted to start their building in creative is because we did actually have another server, server set up for this one. Um, where a couple of us had started building um, but then we realized that biomes of plenty wasn't working um, so we were only getting sort of all the vanilla biomes um, and we definitely wanted the all the cool biomes so we had to restart that game and reload that world um, and it meant losing all my house and everything um, so yeah some of us wanted to just make sure we didn't waste all of our time completely doing that stuff before um, and just gave ourselves a couple of bits back and then got building okay so this here this is sniz's house now it's really cool it's um sort of on my way uh between spawn and my house and um, he's got a cute little bin here and a little lead up to his house which is very ornate boards um he'd never used deco craft before playing with this mod pack um, so he went absolutely crazy over it and just did fantastically. Like he decorated his houses so much better than any of us did. So cool. Anyways, I don't want to spoil the surprise of his whole house because it's very cool, but we'll definitely go and have a look at it. Oh, it's very late. Sneeze. I'm just going to have a sleep in your house quickly. Um, I've got a bed on me so I don't have to go any further into his house. Just have a quick sleep in his hallway. Right then, so what we're going to do is head back to my house now. So that's over this way. What I've decided I want to do is sort of build some roads between all of the houses, um, like each other's houses and spawn and stuff, um, just so we're able to have direct routes sort of mapped out for us. I think that would be super cool. Um, and then maybe at some point I would like to, ah, oh, skeletons and things. Um, yeah, maybe at some point I would like to turn those roads into like a, um, like a minecart track. Um, just so we don't have to waste out our hunger while we're running backwards and forwards between two places and spawn and stuff. Um, it would be super cool to just be able to sit in a minecart. So this is home. As you can see, I've got some Robin Hoods chilling outside. Um, that's a feature in most of our houses, actually. Um, Demo has been playing with custom NPCs and creating his own NPCs. Um, and he created us these brilliant Robin Hoods just to sort of guard our houses, really. Um, so as you can see, this is my palace. Um, it's quite large, but I like it very much. Um, come in through here I've got a sort of animal door as well because they seem to have some issues getting through these ones so this is it inside it's so pretty this is my lovely tree that demo made me here is my chest room with all my stuff in it I'm gonna get a nice little collection of armor going because we have the more vanilla armors mod um these are my pups because I actually went on a ridiculous mission not long ago and found a mass of dogs in a snowy biome and they were all trapped and I felt really bad for them and I'm a big wuss and got them all home. Um, two of them were from before, Pepper and Otis over here with the purple collar. Pepper and Otis I actually got on a different adventure um, but then I brought home all of these guys and now they've got brothers and sisters. Um, so I need to name all of those at some point. Deadpool, what are you doing here man? Deadpool is another NPC that, that got made for us. Um, I'm pretty sure he just attacks mobs or anything that attacks him. Um, and as you can see, he, he dances. Yeah, I feel like he's trying to get in there. Go on. I 
think there's a spider in my house and he's going to kill it. Look, I'm watching on the map, can you see? He is, he's killing it, that's brilliant. So yeah, he just kills mobs, he sort of walks around my complex, complex, killing any mobs that he needs to, mobs that he needs to. This is Diddy, he's super cute. Oh, look at his little boat. Um, you can hire him for two gold nuggets a day and he will just sort of run around after you and just, just fight anything that tries to attack you. Basically like a dog, but you can hire him because he's cute as anything. This is Astrid, she's my teleporter, and that's how I get around everywhere. Um, back here, I've got a little stable area with some lovely animals. And back here, I've got a little farm area with some carrot and some wheat. And over here, I've got my cactus and... What's this called? I forget what this is called. Sugar cane and sugar cane. And then I do have a space sorted over here. This is going to be for pumpkins and watermelons. Um, but I haven't got really cotton around to that yet. And this is Donkey. I found him while I was out getting a couple of horses and I felt really bad for him. And while I didn't really have much space in my horsey stable, as you can see, there's two of them in there already. But seeing as I didn't have much space, I thought he could just sort of wander around and, and have a munch. So that's what he's doing. Um, then inside is quite nicely decorated. Um, we've got a little kitchen. We've got a living room. We have an office that I can hear a zombie in. Don't know where that zombie is. It's probably upstairs. I feel like Deadpool should have gone and killed that thing by now. Anyway, um, that's my office room. And then I have my bedroom. Yay. And Deadpool's in here. He's looking up. So the zombie's on the roof. Is that the problem? Yeah. It's, I really like this bedroom. It's very, very cute. All these cute little purple tulips. A nice little aquarium. It's lovely. Um, so, apparently, we have a zombie on the roof, and Deadpool wants to get up there and can't. I apologise. What we could do is try and... There we are. Perfect. And then we just pop that back. Well, that's the problem fixed. Good on us. Now there actually are a couple more rooms, um, I have to go round all of these turrets, which actually don't have anything in them yet. Um, I think one of them has some nether wart growing upstairs, possibly, or downstairs, possibly, I don't, one of these has some nether wart growing. Um, I forget which way I'm going, not this way. Still very much getting used to this house. Um, so there's just a couple more house uh, rooms I want to show you. So this is my potions room. Got my cauldron bubbling away. A couple of spell ones over here. My crystal ball, chemistry set. Um, yeah, crafting table, furnace, and all ready to go. And then I'm going to go in here, and this is our enchanting room. Now, I want to try and do something else with this, but for now, um, I think it's okay like it is. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, I think Demo, yeah, Demo's been decorating this room for me because I just had no idea what to do with it. Um, so yeah, he's making it into like a little chill games room for all of us. So yeah, that is my house. So what we will do is we will dye all of your lovely little colours, different colours. Um, just so that we know you're all differentiated. Um, and then we can get you named. 
after I've collected up some name suggestions. Uh, what do I want? Animal stuff. Yes, six name tags. Perfect. So we'll keep those for when we want them. And then we want dyes. So what's in here? So we have a pink one already. So let's take some white so we can make a couple more dyes if we need to. What flowers do we have? Okay. So we can take one of these because that will give us some light blue. Um, we will take a pink tulip, a peony, a poppy, a sunflower. Ooh. Yeah, that will do. I think. Um, so, we've got a pink, we've got a purple. So, let's do a yellow one. You can be yellow. We already have pink. So, let's, well, we already have red. Let's do an orange one. And we'll do... Oh, it was light grey? I thought it was going to be light blue. Oh, hold on. Blue hydrangea, maybe? Swamp flower? What are they going to give me? Swamp flower gives me cyan. Blue gives me light blue. Perfect. Well, that's cool. Then we've got a cyan and a light blue. I can see Deadpool running around the background, which means that he's finding something. I'm glad I've got him. So you can be cyan. You can be light blue. Um, and we could use like a green or something. Um, but maybe that last one can just stay red for now. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go and quickly place down my water bucket and my office chair that Sniz gave me. So the water bucket I think can go over my stable or maybe over here with you guys. Yeah. The office chair can go here for anyone who ends up collaborating with me. Oh no, I actually like it better than my office chair. Let me swap my office chair for it. Perfect. I like it a lot. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five name suggestions for the pups. Um, I'm going to ask around, try and get some. Uh, if you guys can think of any, make sure to comment them down below. Um, that would be fantastic so I can get those guys named. It's night time and I'm scared and I don't like it. I have an issue where I can't sleep on the deco bed. So I sort of just come into my house and then just put my bed down anywhere and sleep on it. So I'm going to leave this video here. Um, I know we didn't get a lot done. It was mostly just sort of um, a peruse around. We got to see everything that everybody done. Um, and definitely next time we will get some more stuff done, maybe tackle something off my list and definitely get those lovely dogs named. Um, so I need to get inside because the moon is rising and I'm terrified. See you later guys. Don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you next time. Bye.